Bill number 140 continues to scare people into believing polystyrene products are toxic, bad for people and the environment. We do not make styrofoam. We make food grade approved polystyrene. Number two, Dr. C George Cousin, a toxicologist specializing in styrene for the past 20 years, made several facts about styrene and polystyrene. Styrene is a, in a liquid state, while polystyrene is a solid. The risk of using food grade polystyrene is minimal. Styrene is a natural substance in our environment. The highest amount of styrene in our environment comes from automobile exhaust. Styrene is present in coffee, strawberries, cinnamon, meats, cheeses, wine, beer, and so forth. Dr. Cruzan also noted that if polystyrene products were consumed by sea life, clogging of the intestinal tract could occur. This could also hold true for any other alternative products. Toxicity in the ocean from polystyrene is not correct. I have heard that this is not a litter problem, that polystyrene must be banned because it is not accepted in the pending composting facility. The Big Island is fortunate that there are two alternative power plants in the works. Huo Honua Bioenergy and Bioenergy Hawaii. Polystyrene will be part of the feedstock, burning at the highest BTU rate of 16 to 18. Composition of ocean debris has not been discussed outside of polystyrene there are many other products that are part of the debris. Straws, wrappers, insulation, shipping containers, and other products constitute this debris. You have 30 seconds. Polystyrene containers represent 1% of debris. I have been asked repeatedly, what are the alternatives of food grade polystyrene which has been used for over 50 years? If it is a danger to health, would the FDA continue to allow its use? If questions are asked what the alternatives should be, shouldn't we know this answer before declaring bans? My answer is that science is not adequate to provide us with this substitute, functionality, cost, and sustainability. Please summarize. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for your testimony.